I um, so I draw comics for The Simpsons. Oh, so right. Simpsons. So at the um, at the conventions, I draw people like they're a Simpsons character, or put their head in a jar like Futurama. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun. So fantastic. And I also do a, a create our own project called Itty Bitty Bunnies in Rainbow Pixie Candyland, which is about naked drug using bunny rabbits and is for grown ups only. So, yeah. We got that. We got yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so you you write for the you, you draw for the Simpsons comics. How long have you been doing that for? Write and draw for the Simpsons comics. Yeah, oh, wow. for about three years. Wonderful. So they're mainly backup stories, but it's really good. They're a great company to work for. Um, they're really well known, so, <laughs> so people love the stuff. You know. And um, what is. Is that something you wanted to go for, or is that something that you work towards, or you just the opportunity came up and you went for it, or? So look, I've drawn comics for about 20 years, I guess. Um, I was doing some comics for those, you know, those kids' magazines that you get at the news agent yes. oh, at the supermarkets. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the work kind of dried up. I went to my local supermarket and to see what was there, and it was Wall to Wall Simpsons. I bought one. It looked all pretty good, but there was one page that I thought, gee, that's not that great. Yeah. I could just about do that. So I started submitting work to them, and, and I think it was about the third one I sent to them. They started using them, which oh, was just uh, amazing. So I'm um, the only one in Australia, and I think I'm the only one in the Southern Hemisphere who works for them. That's so fantastic. It's, it's really cool, yeah. Um, and so uh, do you do the conventions much? Have you been on? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, this is my third convention in a row now. I'm How a is little, it for you? A little bit fried. <laughs> so. But um, and you're based here in Australia? Yeah, in Melbourne, yeah. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there much a, do you see much of a difference between the three major cons now that we have here in Australia, between Supernova, Armageddon, and uh, Oscomic Con? Look, I, I think they have all of them have their own sort of like a special bent yes. to them. You know, I, I, um, I love them all the same. Um, Very uh, and, uh, but yeah, some have a certain, like, I don't know, they might have a certain kind of guest or a certain kind of uh, community feel to it all. They're, yeah. they're, they're, they're slightly different and it's great, it's really good. Now has this convention blended into all the others or has there been anything particular about this con that stood out for you, something that's... Uh, look, it's my hometown which is really nice, I've had sort of a lot of repeat customers which is um, not always the case. <laughs> like, I last, last supernova you drew my head in a jar, I'm here to get a zombie version of me or something like that, you know. Mm. Only, only at a convention. Only at a convention, yeah. Thank you very much for your time, Cheers, it's my a pleasure. pleasure.